welcome in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a Bob car test uh, using R or specifically R studio I'll be loading some data as an example and let's load it in control enter um, this data has 128 observations and has two variables now uh, if your data has more variables this will only go if you actually have two uh, so you might then want to convert it to uh, the two variables that you actually want to compare now the Bobcar test is not available in base so you can either use the IRR uh, package which has a function called Bobcar or you can use the coin uh, package mm, but then it will require a little bit of work um, if you don't have the package installed at first by running this uh, command up here uh, I already have the package so I'll only need to install the library Control enter and now it actually loaded the uh, library I can perform immediately the Bobcar test on my data because it only has two variables. Press Ctrl Enter and as you can see it shows the sample size 128, two variables, the chi-square value and eventually the p-value and that's all there is to it. If you want to do this using the coin package um, then you of course have to install it if you don't have it yet then run the coin library and then uh, first create a table so mm, I'm going to be storing that as my table of the two variables and I'll show you what that looks like then perform the marginal homogeneity test uh, and actually obtain the chi-square test statistic so you can do that by doing statistic uh, then mh underscore test and then my table and I'm be, st uh, be storing that under chi of that marginal homogeneity. Control enter. We also will be needing the sample size which is the sum of the entire table and then you can convert the marginal homogeneity to the Bobcar chi-square test statistic by simply taking that mh uh, square and then dividing it over 1 minus the chi-square of the mh divided by n. So I'll load that in. Control enter and uh, then the degrees of freedom is the number of rows minus one or the number of columns minus one um, they should be the same and then finally the guy square uh, the p-value will be simply one minus uh, the left tail of that guy square according to the Bobcar test and the degrees of freedom control enter and that gives me the same 0.0444 and just to show that the other one also has the 15.4 my chi b is actually indeed as you can see up here uh, 50.42 so they're matching and um, as they should be okay that's it